You found channel 13. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. This transmission carries with it nothing of value. <laughs> Back again. Hey. For season but, 24. It's been a we while. We just call this the new season. We can just do that. We did yeah, it for like a year and then we'll do another season, right? That, wor that works because I think we kind of had like, well, we tried to record in person. That, that didn't work worked, out. So one a few episode. times. <laughs> yeah. A few we times. had numerous, numerous studios. Yeah. yeah. So well, we had a Kevin ones, house. I think I cleaned we up. We had a storage unit. <laughs> I think I cleaned up the screen the scream ones enough that that'll be released at some point that'll be on our okay. patreon page <laughs> wait was scream the the storage unit one mm -hmm. yeah okay what we do at kevin's halloween did we do two at kevin's we did yeah, two. we did, we did ha malignant we did halloween and halloween. And, yeah malignant malignant's a good one james wan's birthday's today oh well oh is it yeah happy birthday yeah, that's what told me all about it they kept showing <laughs> pictures of him with like um What's that movie, the the non-conjuring movies that he has a, a whole bunch of? Insidious. Insidious, oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the monster or the demon, whatever that thing is. There's pictures all over the internet today, people saying happy birthday, but it's him and that actor. And I, I just, I get so bothered looking at that monster because of how garbage that movie is. And I thought that monster did look kind of creepy. but I don't know the, mo and, uh, the little like. It's like all black and red. I, I I only saw is the it first the crooked Insidious man, really the guy him. with the umbrella. That's conjuring, right? That's yeah, con yeah, that's conjuring. That was okay. the second one. I, I can't I can't separate them in my head. Insidious oh, I just is think where they so go in the uh, they go in the other dimensions. I turned off Insidious. I, I don't know. I thought Insidious one was just kind of more like a devil kid or whatever. It was kind of like an omen type movie, but it was just like you thought the kid was innocent the entire time, and it ended up being like no. Because it starts off with the parents are trying to kill this kid and cops raid the place. Is it that movie? Am I thinking of an Insidious? Is it the right? Ethan Hawke like attic movie? <sighs> well, they the cops no, raid the house. No, that's and, um, and they the find one out with that Bagul. Ba what? Uh, the Babadook? The Babadook? No, no. Ethan Hawke was in a movie where he's <laughs> a, he's he's. He's like a writer, and he moves into a murder house, and there's like a monster yeah, called yeah, yeah. Bagul. Yeah, he watches like film or something yeah. in the end. Oh, yeah, that that one. That's not Okay, that's not Insidious. Yeah, that's Insidious. And the monster is no. actually and like the lead singer of Slipknot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is I that real? I, well, no, it's just he's wearing Oh, I was like, oh, is he an actor too? Is right, he right. like a Peyton Hillis? <laughs> <laughs> Peyton Hillis of. is not an actor, as we found out. Uh, he may have been the best in the movie. He's actually he was, as good as I, I would imagine where, you know, all these horror movies where they're like ex-football players. <laughs> like what? All those, he's no is that a genre? <laughs> yeah. Like they end up, a lot of guys end up, you know, you get like a muscle. They either get a used car dealership <laughs> yeah. or they become a horror movie. Well, guy. now that Mark Wahlberg's buying up all the used car dealerships, you got to do something else. You got to do something. Yeah. It's broadcasting. Gotta, I mean, it's broadcasting. You got to go out to horror horror and shoot a horror movie about werewolves. Is that, what? what's the city called? It wasn't Ravenna. It was out no. by Ravenna. Who gives? Oh, I, yeah, I had no idea. I did. I couldn't place. Oh no, I, 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 I thought it was, I thought it was closer to to uh, Toledo. Um, oh, is it? I thought it was Man Manoa. Oh, Manoa. Manoa. Manoa, yeah. Yeah. Manoa, is that it? Manoa I don't is, even know where that uh, is. Manoa is not towards Toledo, though. Manoa is towards. Uh, that sounds uh, like Painsville. it's out towards like Shockton and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It's by the Ma by the Mommy River. I don't know. Like that sounds. That's our mommy river. <laughs> exactly. I only know the French like, Creek. Mommy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, there's another man away, of course, uh, like an older, probably more <laughs> beautiful province in another country. <laughs> yeah, there we yeah, go. Portage pretty... County. 330. So, yeah, it's down by Ravenna. Okay, so it is down south. Yeah. Huh. Way down south where bananas grow. Well, Grasshopper <laughs> stepped on an elephant's toe. The that elephant said with tears in his <laughs> eyes. Pick on somebody your own size. <laughs> hmm. You don't say. That's fine. She's Our viewership goes up right when now. you leave the camera. So it's true. Aww. It is true. Yeah. So like, oh, finally Dave's gone. <laughs> now comes. And now I'll watch. Yeah. Here, here comes the intellectual <laughs> part of the show. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to get us to watch a French foreign movie documentary nobody, about nobody wants about to a watch demon, that. and you're like, let's watch the Peyton Hillis fucking werewolf movie. Yeah. So it gets real intellectual when I walk off camera. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. <laughs> Seriously, though, Fear of the Demon, you should still watch yeah. it. 
Uh, nobody, nobody likes your highbrow crap. <laughs> it's not even highbrow. <laughs> you just have to read it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's <So> highbrow. <laughs> the hunting. Mm. I, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I didn't last. I didn't watch the last twenty five percent. I watched. See, Shopping I was debating on not even buying it to not watch it. But I, I, knew I had. To. I, I watched <laughs> Chopping Mall. <laughs> that, makes, that makes sense. It was way, way better. better. Movie. That way movie better. is actually awesome. I, it's great. That's a fun one. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to tell you. Some of the jokes land. There's a couple <laughs> of jokes in there, and they actually land, which I was like really surprised about. Yeah. I meant well, to watch the, with the last robots, 25% because right? I watched yeah. this movie about yeah. a week ago, and then I watched... I tried to watch it again last night just to refresh my memory, and I both <laughs> times I I, I, I... I just... I don't care. It's um. I mean, again, like we said, Peyton Hill. So do you Hill not know is, the end then? No, I mean I know the end, right? <laughs> it's not. What, I mean, there's a well, twist. What's the but, ending? You didn't watch the end, so what happens uh, at the he end? He turns the girl into a wolf, and they live happily together. No. <laughs> but close enough. Do you know that they're twins in it? Who's well, twins? <laughs> oh, so oh, you, Peyton Hillis has a twin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Peyton Hillis is not the werewolf. Well. No, his twin is. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Connor is not the Connor right. is who we we Matt, watched Peyton Hillis yeah. be through the movie. The cop is yeah. has a twin brother, who's the right. werewolf. Right. So at the beginning of the movie, when you see Peyton Hillis like get up and go to the bathroom and take his pills and all that stuff, uh-huh. that's a that's not Connor. That's not the police officer. That's the werewolf. That is his twin. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got to that. Yeah, they're both in the service, I believe. Yes, because like show, the, they show the U.S. Army or whatever. Yeah, they both have scars on the same. Yeah, shoulder. so do they? No, do they both? They both have that. At one point, at because one point, we don't the, see. I feel like we, we don't should, see Connor. Yeah. You don't see Cop Peyton Hillis. I feel like we already you see gave him away the do spoiler. this, but you don't. We already gave away oh, the spoiler. Sorry. Let's build. Let's let's go through it, and then we'll. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm we'll just get getting there. there. Okay, I'm just amazed Ben didn't finish it. So okay, I can't. I was just making you guys finish it. I figure you guys could finish off. It was. I, I almost turned it off when I was watching his, like eating the hungry man dinner. <laughs> that was a good scene. So there's a. <laughs> okay, so Manaway, Ohio, uh, Manchua. Uh, there are animal attacks. So a girl, a wolf expert, is called in, and she's also accompanied by. Like three hours later, accompanied by her Native American worst actor ever. What's going on? The police down in Manaway think that someone was attacked by a wolf. A wolf in that area? Bullshit. Don't go chasing that legend. Her father figure. <laughs> yeah. He was a ripoff of the <laughs> the guy from Free Willy that helped the kid out. Like it was a like he, a bad. And he is the worst. He's like, that. hang on. What? Wait, I must tell you something. And then, like, like, hey, let's. At one point, the costume designer was like, "We need to give him some uh, turquoise earrings, otherwise, yeah. no one will believe it." And then they gave <laughs> right. him like five different earrings of just blue. <laughs> you know, like it, it was. And, uh, like, it was embarrassing. It was, it was racist. Like, right. it, it was. was just so, it was. Like, it was pretty racist. <laughs> and uh, but he was he doing had, his he like he was doing his like mysticism so. thing, and he was just going, "Hi, yeah, 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 yeah." I'm like, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> it was that, and it was like stock footage of mountains and wolves. That's pretty much his whole like prayer. Yeah, I, know, I, I actually meant to, to go there? looking on like a stock footage site to see if I could find ninety percent of like every B roll in this movie. <laughs> Just... The guy who made this movie was very into his shots, and I guarantee he storyboarded the shit out of this movie. So one of the was things really is, proud of himself. That's what bothered me about the Hungry Man dinner thing. It's such a bizarre framing, and it's like when you're looking at it. What bothered me was like that table, isn't where a table should be, in that room, and it just like bothered me. It was just such a. He's just sitting there like. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He. Like he's just like trying to cut up his it's it's so depressing for his one. Salisbury it's, steak it's or Salisbury whatever it is. <laughs> it was like a lean cuisine too. It was one in like yeah. the cardboard with yeah. the wax yeah. cardboard. <laughs> it, was like, it wasn't like even Pey- steaming. Like it's they no. clearly were shooting this over and over because Peyton Hills couldn't remember how to use a fork and a knife. <laughs> He'd go for he couldn't get his hands together because of his <laughs> no. muscles. Yeah. He looks stretched. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you know, like there's just his it's it's weird. His biceps look like they have CTE and they're just swelling. <laughs> 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 uh, 
yeah, so uh, wolf experts called in. She goes, oh, this must be a giant wolf. Um, they go to a kind dingy, of, yeah. they go to someone's basement where the morgue is, <laughs> where the lady is clearly in front of like three massive like breakers or it's like in a, it's in a warehouse and those breakers run like the garage doors or some shit yeah. or the cranes because like anywhere else would have worked. You could have shot this in a room and it would have looked like as long as they had white walls, it would have been better. This is like. What else was in that room? What else was in the corners that you didn't use any of the other corners? Or did was... they look at it and go, that looks official. Like, that looks like something that it is, there's no computer, like the... there's no cameras, there's no medical lights. <laughs> this shit's, like, important in movies. Like, yeah. it is if you dirtiest... want me to believe she's a doctor, give her more than a lab coat. All they thought was, like, oh, morgues are in basements. Right. right. Like, normally, in, like, I saw men in black. They walked down the stairs to get to the morgue. So let's just go to a basement. <laughs> well, generally, I, I mean, I would assume that's probably true because most people won't go to the basement, you know. And, like, if you're in a hospital, they are, like, when I was a paramedic, they are generally downstairs. They don't, like, on wheeling people around and, you know, whatever. But they are bright rooms. They have, like, stainless steel shit everywhere. They are very clean. And especially if there's anything like a city morgue where you would be inspecting, like, a crime, they are, like, clean rooms. And this lady's just, like... Yeah. No, this is this is definitely... There's a slap sink in the corner. There's, like, a conduit, like, above it. <laughs> like, where you hook up, like... Yeah, I think it was a coding nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I it think was... you guys are just underestimating how amazing the people in this town are. Yeah, Because the, the lady true. who helps out... Peyton Connor uh, looks at Peyton some hair Connor. in a yeah. picture and knows that that, oh, that's not normal hair. Yeah, that's wolf hair. And knows that there's something going on. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, also, these people in this town are really on top of their game. Also, at the crime scene, like the first guy, that they, the town drunk, the guy, the first victim they find, and then they find multiple victims spread up, up around that same area. It just shows like Peyton just sitting there, like poking him in with a stick, and he's just poking him with a stick for a while <laughs> while he's waiting for the wolf girl to show up. And like he touches everything with his bare hands. It's the worst, like, detective work. <laughs> Rubber know, gloves. He's in a field a at one point, and he yeah. just crouches down and like picks up a leaf and then puts it back down. <laughs> well, hey, he's That's the, the scene. He's he straight up like picks it up and puts it back down and then walks through. I he's just, I, it, so the wolf expert, her parents were wolf experts. Yes. I don't know if this this is the first in history that that would be a thing. <sighs> yeah. And what they really were, as she finds out from that dude, is that they were werewolf hunters. Or yeah, they were hunting well, werewolves. They, in but they didn't Hope, kill in werewolves because werewolves were people too. Or I didn't know. They didn't, what they, I think they, they ever caught any. I don't think they caught any. I think they were trying. They were hunting one. They they were, they were like, hey, we're actually onto something here because they were wolf people. They were doing the same thing. They owned a business that the girl owned. Did was this passed then, on to her? Um, and other Peyton happened to live in that Alaska. Yeah, because he was hiding in Alaska for some. Because he was a werewolf. Or something. Oh, that's right. Okay, so werewolf. He killed her parents. He thought he'd go to the part of the world that has darkness 24 hours a day. Uh, as a yeah, so these aren't, these aren't, <laughs> these aren't uh, full There's about moon. to be a really shitty day of him being a werewolf for quite a while. There's, there's, there's no... 24-hour uh, <laughs> werewolf. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Wasn't there a vampire movie like that where a bunch yeah, of vampires yeah, go to Alaska? Terrible. Yeah. It was terrible. It was yeah. such a good idea. Josh was, Harnett. Yeah. Ruined. Oh wait, was there any actually? Was there any moon situation in this movie? No, that, I don't sh- think it was. I, I don't. Because he did it a bunch. So there, I don't think they yeah. mentioned any type of like, hey, every four weeks some guy goes out and kills for two. Oh nights. yeah, no. Well, they, it was just a whole thing of missing people, and so I think the whole thing. I think it, the, like Peyton, the detective, was hide, sticking up for his brother, and so trying to hide the fact that his brother. I don't was, think he knew. You don't think so? I don't know. No. I'm, that's why I'm confused. Because I think about. He, he was trying to figure it out. Yeah. So that's what I'm confused about, and you. Can we talk Did about you know? the gay neighbor? And the... <laughs> We're not there yet, but if you want to. Uh, <laughs> that, again, was – is that not racist? But that, that, was a, that was a bigoty character as well. <laughs> like, that was so over the top. That dude has incredible hearing. And an incredible ass. Oh, please. He's so out of our league. Speak for yourself, sister. He, he was doing a sixth grade impression of a gay guy. <laughs> kind of was. It was pretty bad. <laughs> like and just... him and the girl were thought that he was like the hottest dude in the world when he shows up and we we're introduced to the, the, those two people. 
no one would think that dude's the hottest dude in the world. <laughs> Anyone in public would go, oh, my God, look at that. That guy's a monster. Right. Yes. You know, like the first time you see Z at the store, yeah. you don't look like, like he's a, a freak show. Right. right. I'm pretty sure the whole movie was shot in one building, right? So there's the basement and there was that middle restaurant area. And then they had outsides of the houses and the campsite. That was pretty much it. Um, yeah. So yeah. The, when the gay dude gets killed, he gets killed in like town square. He gets killed. Yeah. So the, they, were, they had a town square area and that was about it where they were like everybody. Which, which he's is, running. He's running through an empty square because there's a curfew in town because mm-hmm. of you know wolf uh, attacks. <laughs> Everything is clearly closed. Yet he's running down and knocking on every dark window and like not just running by hitting. Like he pauses and waits for like to yeah. see if someone comes. He's, and opens he's up. looking through the window. He's like, "Where are they? Where is everybody?" <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it's a huge thing that no one should be out and no lights are on. Yeah, like, he just had the conversation ten minutes prior to that. They're like, "Hey, it's curfew. Let's go to the campsite." Like, yeah, he <laughs> snuck out. Yeah, <laughs> his death was fantastic because they show a lot of the Hulk um, werewolf in this movie. You get to and see, yeah. You see rips in his pants that make me very happy because they are with a new pair of scissors. There is zero fraying, yep. and there are just tufts of hair sticking <laughs> out of it, which makes no sense because he did not grow at all. Like, no. he just got hairy. So he didn't, like, you know, he didn't actually hulk up or anything because he's already a monster, <laughs> as Peyton Hillis. So... This hair was so strong that it busts the seams of his jeans yes. only in certain <laughs> spots. And that his was... shirt, he rips himself open, <laughs> but there's no more ripping when he grows because he doesn't grow. He just gets hairy. Yeah, that was... So why the fuck are his pants all tattered and where do his shoes go? <laughs> so this is, just... this is the most important thing. Like, If you wanted to do this, you could have been like, Peyton Hillis, you can play the werewolf. And then like a guy like my size will play... The right. regular the normal guy. guy. And yeah, so yeah. then it's – but, like, he just grows hair. <laughs> yeah, he grows hair. And his hair. face turns into a dog face. <laughs> but his face didn't even come out. It's still squished. Oh, he's – oh, he that's right. He doesn't have a that's snout. Because right, he's, like, a Lon Chaney. It, but he's a snout guy. The one in um, the one in Afghanistan – is he Afghanistan or Iraq? I don't know where they said – Afghanistan. They said okay, he served he, in The Afghanistan, one that steps up yeah. behind him clearly has, like, a snout. Yes. The one that like steps out of the the one that attacked. That's probably the one that they made the poster out of. Yeah, <laughs> the poster looks cool. If you want to show the poster, the right posters here. do the, look cool. Like the artwork. And you know what? I'm gonna say awesome. this: the movie right. looked good. Like they well, clearly had a nice camera. Okay. Do you know what no, I mean? No, they didn't. That's one of my big problems with it: is how just fucking iPhoney and like. Oh no! See, I, I it looked like DC DC Pro, like or not DC Pro, uh, a, like a mini DV camera. Like it was the colors were awful. Oh, well, I think it was, it was just... like color palette, but I think that like I, it wasn't like a consumer grade camera. Because if you want to see consumer grade camera horror movies, just go on Amazon and spend a dollar and one day watching some of these fucking movies like cloud, like people wandering around the woods at night. Like I'm saying like they filmed at night and it's not like a weird grainy thing and they didn't attempt day for night, which like. Where you tried to just darken the film, but you shot during the night because you didn't want to, like, you didn't have a camera that could shoot properly at night, or you didn't want to set up the lights in the woods or anything. So a lot of shitty horror movies do that, like, day for night, where you black out windows, but you can still see, like, the light coming through, and it's just, yeah. like, really bad. So they they clearly had a camera that could handle it, and someone who knew how to use it, because they filmed clearly at night. But, like, if you go on Amazon, there's people who shoot fucking cell phone movies and, like... <laughs> on GoPros or whatever and like a non-versatile standard camera where they're not switching lenses or whatever and they're like it's like a this guy in a shitty that. rubber rubber mask and wandering around the woods in broad daylight and like then just Tinting taking it. the brightness down <laughs> yeah, in yeah, Premiere yeah. or Final right. Cut and just going brightness down it's nighttime now. Right. <laughs> Even though there's you know like long I mean? shit, there's like shadows everywhere. Yeah, there's shadows everywhere. There's Cleveland, clearly like a source of light, and right. it's just like, what that's is a full this? Moon. That's the brightest full moon ever. And these <laughs> yeah. things are sold on the posters, just like this one mm-hmm. would be. Like the poster, they you you go and you find someone like Mark who knows what they're doing, and you give them five. Oh, you know, you give them a good amount of budget, but thousand, two thousand, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I gave that to him today. 
Um, he, uh, he'll get I'm there. on my way. <laughs> but like, you know, if you give him like five grand to make a really good looking, like professional looking poster, don't have just some dipshit cutting clip art end on a thing. And like someone will buy it for a buck on Amazon. And then there you go. This movie's way too expensive on Amazon to rent, by the way. Yeah, Yo, it was I agree. Five bucks on iTunes. It, yeah, I think it was six dollars on it. Should it should have been like, yeah, it should have been like two, two bucks. It costs six bucks to rent. It's more expensive yeah, there. It costs yeah. six, I thought that it'll be the same. Costs six ninety nine to rent, and I think it just adjusted how much they take or whatever. Peyton, I mean, Peyton asked for a lot. He's got a, he's got to feed. You know, he's got a steroids to eat or whatever. <laughs> I've got a bunch of steroids to feed. <laughs> I just picture him having like a bowl of cereal, but it's steroids. <laughs> I just imagine him having like syringes that are like whining for food. <laughs> <laughs> he's got uh, like the the Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Dream Warriors for like the girl who used to do heroin. Yeah, yeah, She's got yeah. all those like oh, yeah. sucking mouths in her. Yeah. <laughs> Tara, that's yeah. her name. Taryn? I think it's Taryn. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. I just watched. I we, uh, my wife and I just watched through them. Okay. Every time I go through those, I like less and less of them, and I'm always just like, okay, one, uh, three, and parts of five, and I could care less about four, two. Freddy's Dead is like unwatchable to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty and, like, bad. And then New Nightmare, I like. So you have like. And and as I watch them, like even like more and more, I'm just like, God, I fucking hate Dream Warriors, and it's mostly because everyone's just like, I love Dream Warriors, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate that movie. It's so cheesy. I, I like them all for their all individualness, but I don't need to rewatch pretty much any of them except for I only watch New Nightmare and maybe the first one. Um, I really like how Five looks. Like I really like how Five looks. I, I think it's the the guy uh, Stephen, what's his face? Dorf. Who, who directed it uh, was just really like he, he's just a very visual person and I really liked the way that movie looked but it's probably one of the worst out of all of them is that the one with Roseanne no that's no, Freddy's Dead that's Freddy's Dead okay yeah. okay that one's oh yeah 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 unwatchable the, his daughter yeah yeah that's when it just kind of like even gets I mean it was already getting kind of silly but that one gets real fucking ridiculous I mean literally the I think kid two gets... deserves more respect no. I know it's like the joke one but I mean, it's, I, it's a, not I, about the gay shit. It's just honestly like a nonsense movie. Oh, I disagree. I think it's a really neat one. Like the way they talk about it when you see the documentaries on this series, I think it's 100% true. Where like it is a possession movie. Like it's a totally neat, different aspect. Like, I, I don't know. Sure, I like sure. it. Well, I mean, why wouldn't Freddie be able to just possess somebody? Because he's not an ethereal being. He just exists in dreams. So he shouldn't be able to possess people. Yeah, he's just a dream monster. Well, yeah, he's not but an like, he's like a, he's like a, he's he's like a, a, an entity more than just. I can't possess Dave because I'm a person, so he's not like a person in the real world. He's an entity that enters people's fucking minds literally. So why wouldn't you be able to possess somebody? That makes sense. Be awake. Yeah, as soon as you're awake, but, Freddy's gone. Not that really. <laughs> he's always there. He's there in your heart. He's. <laughs> <laughs> he does things in the first one that you... she like. Um, he he hangs uh, the, the the boyfriend. Yeah, the but boyfriend. He's but he's he, but he yeah, but he's moving. The, what the blankets asleep too? Yeah, he does manipulate. Oh, the real yeah, world. She kinda, watches through call. the window the call. thing moving, and he right. drags the girlfriend all over the room, so she's physically being moved. Yeah. He does manipulate him. the real world. Yes. Yeah. So he's an entity that enters in and out, but he doesn't have like corporeal form, I should say, not ethereal. That could, he doesn't have like a physical form. And, like, so it I mean, is interesting that he well, tried once again, to get it back. In Freddy versus Jason, he does become, you know, real because he it gets believed in enough, right? He always gets, well, he gets well, pulled he always out, gets sucked out, and stuff. He gets yeah. pulled out. He gets pulled he gets out pulled in one. Out. He gets pulled out in two. He re-enters the world in two through Jesse. He uh, does not re-enter in three. In four, he does not, because that ends in Wait. a karate fight in a church for some reason. And that's one of the reasons I completely despise that fucking movie, is that it ends Wait. in a She's, like, fighting him in, the, like, why is there a fist fight at the end of Nightmare on Elm Street? She's fighting Wait, in uh, a church. What's the Insane Asylum one? Is that four? Where a hundred maniacs like raped a nun like for a hundred days or something. Well, no, I'm saying the one with, like, um, the heroin girl and, like, the puppetry. Three. That's three. That's three? Okay. 
when we when the first time we see that he's uh, the werewolf, and he puts his hand as he's going through the doorway, mm-hmm. and then it he goes and falls down or whatever. Um, which I think from the way he fell, that they were like, we're gonna CGI you being the werewolf right here, because like he tried to like almost fall like a dog, and then nothing happened, and he crawled down the stairs. But they go back and they show where his hand had touched the door frame, and it's all cut up. But we see his hand like touch it like this. But so somehow his claws are here, and it's like perfect, <laughs> like werewolf claw lines across the board. That... It's just like they had to have made decisions on set that were not going to look good, and they were like, "We're cool." With they it. had he, like he went, they had, he like, went with they that had, like, scene, by the way, just this. the screaming. Yeah. He went yeah. with that screaming. What? He went with it. He, that was his moment, his screaming, and then he just he tried. He just wrapped a chain around his arms, like that'll hold me. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like the next scene, he's out. He's gone. He's like, well, yeah, because he yeah. just wrapped a chain around his hands three times. You think he would know when the full moon's it, coming? <laughs> like, right? But it doesn't have anything only, to do with the full moon. So you set an alarm in your phone, right? Be like, full moon's coming. <laughs> I got a couple days to prepare. <laughs> Nighttime's right. coming. Yeah, like, yeah. But it's not bunch, on a cycle. So it's a bunch every of hungry night. man in the basement. It, it's every five, fucking night. So you. You set Is an alarm it? in your phone, and you go down at three and chain yourself up a little early. It was like there was a full moon in, in the movie, but it. We, but that's I the thing that, that. They, they haven't that's established. We have. Yeah, I mean, it, I know it's shown in a fl- full moon, but they, they never sh- establishes this yeah. happening every like. Well, four he's not weeks. that great of a detective, but he's like, hey, every couple of weeks this is happening. I I thought that <coughs> myself. You know, you could have done something fun. Where the dude just had PTSD. I don't know why I said that's fun, but like. that's a weird <laughs> sentence. Yeah. I got a fun Isolated? idea. Isolated? <laughs> a soldier from Afghanistan with horrible PTSD who thinks he saw himself. He saw a werewolf on the battlefield. Now he comes down, and whenever he goes crazy, he puts on a fucking werewolf suit he made and just attacks people in the town and kills them. Doesn't that sound like a better movie? <laughs> We're like they're chasing a werewolf, too. and they're like, "Wait, why are we chasing a werewolf?" And he's like, literally just dressing like a werewolf and attacking people because he's insane. And so he's like Batman. He has PTSD. And they don't dress it up like a werewolf. And like no one at the VA him. hospital will answer his calls. <laughs> <laughs> it's Connor again. He's howling. <laughs> I told you, you can see a psychologist in three years. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Oh, yeah. And by the way, your GI your... Bill ran out. I guess you only get one semester of college. <laughs> thank, you your hu- your thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Here's your hungry man rations. <laughs> He's still eating his military rations. Yeah. It's like... it's so but, yeah, bad. like, why why didn't they do that, though? <laughs> <laughs> why didn't they do something better? Why didn't they? Yeah. Werewolf why... movies are stupid. And, like, they werewolves are, are it's, stupid. It's just it's a tough stupid to Is there a good one? We're going to cut this. Yeah. Let's put some slits in the jeans and stuff the hair out. <laughs> like, I noticed that, too. It was one of my favorite parts. Of the movie. It's my favorite thing about the whole, Because like... it shows him. He's just, like, crushing that kid's skull. And then, then they pan away, and they just see these tight jeans with little hair sticking out of them. Like, but there's, like, that's not, like, someone on a high school play would say, like, the hair strong enough? Like, but yeah. the fact that this is a major production, like, is it a major what production? The fuck? <laughs> no. Not major. I guess major is the wrong it's word. A but it's a production. Legit. It's a legit production. Legit. <laughs> it is. I mean, legit. No. Their top actor Peyton was Hillis Peyton Hillis. Peyton Hillis is probably paid. <laughs> yeah. And Hungry Man. Do you think it got paid a ton? He was, he was not paid. <laughs> um, maybe the girl was. <laughs> that just flew over Mark's Yeah, I, No, I'm not going to. I'm ignoring that. <laughs> <laughs> you just won't allow it. Yeah. Because he sends a girl. No, they, honestly, he they sends fucking a, He sends have. a girl a check for like $25,000 or whatever. Like, where the fuck are you storing $17, that? $17,000. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, I I saw this shit. Did I watch this whole movie? Oh, I hate myself. I hate you too. Like I think about the creep show werewolf one. Remember where the soldiers Yeah. The Nazis and stuff? Yeah. yeah with uh, Dave, Dave loves that one. He has got so many questions about that one. Like th- th- that one they camped it up and made it stupid and silly. Like, they're not trying to be serious. So when they turned into werewolves, and it was still confusing, like, one turned into, like, the Lon Chaney werewolf. Another mm-hmm. was, like, on an all fours, and he was, like, a dog werewolf. And the other one was, like, a big monster hulking werewolf. It's like, why do you all change into different fucking werewolves? 
nationalities. But <laughs> I didn't care because uh, what's Depends his face on. from Reanimator was in it? Jeffrey Combs as the head Nazi, and it was just stupid. Idiotic I think it kind of comes down to like breeding, maybe what type of breed you are, and all that. I mean, <laughs> like a best in show with werewolves. I don't know. Well, see, know. that's what I'm talking yeah. about about the Muslim um, <laughs> werewolf and the Native American werewolf. Right. Completely different. And then the dumb werewolves. white guy. <laughs> <laughs> the he football just player werewolf. Yeah, the football player. So you have a lot of questions about werewolves, I see. Yeah. I didn't ask a singular question. <laughs> <laughs> these, sure. these were all statements. These were observations, but yeah. I'm these sure they're all... the same to you as someone with your education. Yes, these are all breeds of werewolf. <laughs> Let's explain a question mark to Dave. I'm going to get another beer. They were all Fuck st- you guys. They were all statements. Now we can get into the good stuff. Let's talk about that <laughs> sweet documentary about that demon. Because Yeah, I know. That was a fabulous movie dude actually. honestly like i can't believe how fucking good it was <laughs> um i honestly like i watched it like i rented it i watched it three times in a row and i was just like this is the best documentary Sorry, i've ever seen about oh part. hey was, yeah so werewolves are like <laughs> 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 this is just a good movie film yeah film. i mean no i am not like, a film I mean, anymore can I mean, you call any of them a film they're not shot on film <laughs> They're not. This is a good I, uh, SD card. I love it. This is a good digital <laughs> file. <laughs> um, I went into this movie expecting to hate it straight up because it had Peyton Hillis in it. Um, strictly, why, why it's, it's already it? a novelty. What it's a novelty you? right off the rip. Uh, it's not a real uh, movie. It's not legitimate in any way. Right off the rip. If he wasn't in it at all, and it was some other, you know, another random Cleveland actor or whatever, um, I probably would have liked it a little bit more, simply because I see people trying to make a movie. Like I, but when you put something like that in there, it's a novelty. It's I, not I'm not even game. quite sure why they <clears throat> did it. He's not even, like, like a Cleveland hometown guy. He played yeah. on the Browns for a few years, and th- wasn't years, he one yeah. that started going, like, bonkers? Yeah. Did he start saying crazy he, shit? No, he... Um... Uh, there was one game he had like a strep throat, and his agent told him not to play, and so he didn't. And the the rest of the team was kind of like, like, come on, dude, you have a sore throat, and you're not going to play a game, that type of thing. And then he got married in the middle of the season, and so therefore he like missed a couple of games for that. And then he fired his agent, and then hired another agent. So he got weird. And there was like he was supposed to show up to like a kid's school and like do some type of like charity event, and he he like didn't even show up. No called, no showed that. So like. Do you think he that, he was a werewolf though? Maybe yeah, probably it was it was during full moons, which was weird. Every single one of these things was during yeah. the full moon, and so. But I was like, his brother's in the military. Like, he's a football <laughs> player. They both have the same scar on their shoulder for some fucking reason. <laughs> Again, they don't show the cop. Never shows it. The only thing we see is him do but, this like once, and the right. girl comment the that guy, he's always he's always his shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. So there hey, is. But we don't uh, see that, and that's just a diversion to make us. Continue are they to doing not like the twin? Uh, a twin. Uh, are they doing tricky. the twin connection tricky. thing? Mm. Like, oh, my twin's arm hurts. Maybe so the scars I'm from like a separation. Maybe they were Siamese you know, twins, uh, and that's some. You know scarring. what, Ben? Huh? As stupid as what you just said is, it's probably a hundred percent. That's probably what they were going for because the the end scene where they kill werewolf Peyton Hillis, like they do, they're trying to show that back and forth bullshit. Oh yeah, uh, the two different scenes that they were really, like, they were shoot, really working hard then, for that. Yeah. Um, I was getting excited. So I, like that that would be more of a connection connection. I do agree with so you. So I could see I think you might be right on that. There, I do agree with you that there's no reason to cast him in this. It's, it, again, he's not anyone anyone gives a shit about. He was on the cover of Mad in 2012, I think. Yeah. Was it that long like ago? That. 2011. Yeah, I think it was he died, yeah, it was 11 or 12. He was only here for like well, two he, seasons. No, yeah, he, it wasn't. It, no, he played in he he his best year was 2010, so it would have been 2011. 11, How 11, could Mark 11, 11, 11. have been so wrong? Cheap Robert Smith with his eyeliner on. Don't know the difference. Between 12 and 11 It must be that art degree You spend thousands of dollars on Would have been Wow, that's yeah. crazy that that was that long yeah. And he, like, so he, he There was no, there's no reason there's to no cast re- him No one uh, cares about him in any right. way He's and not an actor, he's not He's not an actor, and so, like, what 
it's not a selling point and really honestly only outside of Cleveland people probably don't remember right. him all he did, that he, much. Played, he played for he played, he for played the on the teams and stuff yeah he yeah, played the for the Giants, Giants yeah, but Kansas he's not City, Denver fucking Tom Brady no, no, he's not. No, he's again, like again, they're people, not like there's going right. to be a bunch more but sales. But there's somebody in Kansas City being like, oh, remember Peyton Hills, blah, blah, blah. But he actually, the only, he made, the only good year he had was with us. Yeah, but no one in like Kansas City, like, the, the, the thing that's going to spread here yeah. is people in Cleveland are going to read it, read about it because of shot here, and they, they might give it a watch. Right. No one in Kansas City is reading in a local paper that they shot a fucking shitty werewolf movie in Manaway, Ohio. And now Peyton Hill is. It's on name. Amazon. Well, they also <laughs> yeah, but so is his ninety nine cent movies he's talking about. Dude, yeah. we can but, put uh, this no. on Amazon. <laughs> well, why don't we? We should do that. Rent us for twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine cents. Mark, make a good poster. You All got right. a book now. Yeah. You had to have spent more money getting him than just using a dude who's just as good just as a an actor. Big dude. There's so many big. You think he got paid well? No. I mean, he got. You don't paid think he more, thought he was but, in like a jump off point or something? But I guarantee you, he got paid more. Than they would have paid you, maybe. No, yeah, for I mean, sure. So maybe that's that, what I'm maybe... saying. So like, okay, you you had to pay him ten thousand dollars. Okay, did you make that back in rentals because Peyton Hillis is in it, or did that get you an extra three thousand dollars on Amazon and no one gives a shit? It probably got you. It probably got any funding. It actually probably got you quite a bit in comparison. Yeah, to like, I, that's the if, only if, reason this if, movie if, was yeah, made. If you got like a nobody. People were like, "Oh, cool! It was filmed." I don't in Ohio. know what so it costs you, you to shoot a people, couple of days in Manaway, Ohio. We're looking nothing. at a Jack Frost and, situation. And, and like I said, they 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 filmed it in one build one building. There was like the the diner area. Well, again, they had to have a proper place. permit because they were down in town. Square. And they right, shot they right. shot down they shot around town a little bit. And I, uh... all right, let's uh, end this. We can go do the next. Yes, movie. Okay. let's end this. I'm gonna hang myself. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> I'm not. I deny. <laughs> you should not watch this movie. I deny. I deny you to watch. This I don't movie. know. Yeah, I don't know why my phrasing was so weird, but <laughs> if you, should you live not watch in Manaway, watch it for free and go. Oh, but even that. I, no, 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 no. You don't even need to do that as a local because there's no part of your town that you'd be like, I live two blocks away. Like you're, like Mark says, you're just in that building outside of the uh, bigot kid getting murdered. Right. You know, like That's there's it. nothing. It's downtown Manaway, the, which is also probably like two blocks, right? And then. Oh. Yeah, there's like a they just show us whatever their main street Manu is. Downtown Manuway. Right. Campsite. Yeah. There was, <laughs> whatever their main street there was that weird is. Gro- we saw. There was that ro- weird grocery store that they went into where like there was nothing on the shelves, or it was like a. What did you quote there? Yeah, did they I was just about to ask that. Because it wasn't into. Because it was no. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was quoting grocery store because it wasn't really a grocery store. I don't know what the fuck it was. You said grocery store that they went into. Right. You know, that they went into. <laughs> Is that like a sex thing? No. Like, movie actually... magic. You never know. Maybe they went into a grocery store. Maybe they didn't. I don't recommend this movie. No. Yeah, I don't recommend this movie. I don't right, recommend so it at all. Not one re- part of no, you? I don't, no. Do you have one good thing to say about the hunt? I already did. I said it looks fine. <laughs>